So I figured I'd do something a little bit different this fucking episode. I don't normally fucking drink. You know, smoking is more my fucking thing. Because crazy shit happens to me when I get drunk. Bitch, I'm liable to uh, create quintuplets in this motherfucker. And I'm not ready for that type of responsibility just fucking yet. But I figured, hell, y'all hoes was drunk on this goddamn episode. I figured I'd join you bitches in the goddamn shade fest that we saw today. Because, baby, this episode was very, very fucking interesting. I got my fucking life. It felt more balanced to me. I was able to understand what the fuck was going on but I'm glad that they were able to open themselves up and to be honest because one thing about alcohol it's a fucking truth serum you want to know how a bitch really feel about you get a bitch drunk and see what the fuck happens let's get into this bitch you talk too much homegirl you never shut up R-E-S-B-E, respect me, R-E-S-B-E. <laughs> We start this week's episode off back where we were last week. We are at Kenny's apartment and the whole gang is there minus Archie, shout out fun size top bitch, and goddamn Lemons, AKA Lemons bitch, because according to y'all, this nigga suction game, this nigga head game, this nigga brain game is so motherfucking fire that everybody in the group had a piece. Now y'all may have not had a piece of that nigga at the same time, but y'all have had a piece of that nigga. And I don't fucking blame you, bitch. I get my dick sucked from goddamn Lemons, bitch. Why motherfucking lift every voice and sing plays in the background, bitch, until earth and motherfucking heaven ring, bitch. So they refresh us in this episode by starting off where we left off last week. Ken is saying, look, bitch, I'm trying to figure out what the hell y'all definition of a fucking friend is. Because a bitch needs to understand. Because I don't know what's going on, girl. Because my other friends, I'm cool with them. It's just when it comes to you, bitches, there's always a goddamn problem. So I need to know what's up so that I can do better. So the conversation continues with August addressing Drake in reference to Ashton calling Braylon August's tag along. So August said, bitch, hold on, let me let me, let me me set this fucking stage for you hoes real quick, just so I can let you hoes know how much of a fucking friend, okay, bitch Braylon has been to me. I am forever changing wigs upon my head, bitch, and this nigga has never switched up. He has always been the same, bitch. I met this nigga in Atlanta, girl. This nigga is my best friend, bitch. Hey, this nigga's a goddamn actor, bitch. This nigga an acting coach, a singer, bitch, a dancer, a goddamn fashion choreographer, bitch. Just all type of shit, girl. But most importantly, he's a friend to me. So my thing is, if I found a good friend in him, I'm sure you guys can possibly find a good friend in him as fucking well. Ashton, as your friend, I really don't appreciate you calling Braylon a fucking tag along. Let me down the rest of this shit because uh, I can just fucking feel it in my spirit. Fuck it. Ashton said, bitch, hold on, wait a minute, listen. Um, I'm sorry, Braylon, that you feel that way. Uh, August, let me tell you something, bitch. You're new, right? I'm trying to bring your ass into the fucking group for you to get to know the group of bitches that I choose to be around girl which makes you somewhat exclusive within the motherfucking Ashton world but see bitch I only had one ticket into Willy Wonka's chocolate fucking factory bitch I only had one ticket bitch into the spiritual house of a thousand corpses girl I did not have an extra ticket for this other bitch that you bring it into this shit I don't fucking understand so excuse me if I'm a little overwhelmed because I'm in everybody else's business girl I don't want to be in Disney Channel's business bitch because it makes me feel like I'm doing some child sex trafficking ring type shit and I'm just not here for it okay and then Berlin said wait a minute hold on let me let me speak for myself because i'm pretty sure y'all made fun of me and saying that this nigga is my pimp and that the pimp is speaking for the whole world a hoe is speaking up now god damn it listen i'm going to be emotionally intelligent which is a lot of you hoes problems girl and i'm going to sit here and i'm going to speak fact but also include myself because i also realized that bitch i'm not exempt either yes bitch when you said tag along girl as innocent as you wanted to be you were very fucking bitchy and i thought that you would be the least bitch she is out of everybody, girl. I guess you getting this new goddamn body, bitch, then up to your self-confidence, girl, just a little too fucking much. But the fact that you saying all calling me a tag along and throwing this low cliche and me being quiet doesn't mean that I'm a pussy or that I'm a bitch. It's the fact that I'm giving you the benefit of a fucking doubt, girl, because the God I serve, bitch, is also a vengeful and wrathful God, and I don't think you want to fuck with this nigga, bitch. So not only were you bitchy, but at least I can admit on my own term, my own volition, girl, that it brought me back to a 
a place where I was trying to prove myself worthy being around individuals who are more established than me, who are exploring different type of opportunities in life. To be around individuals who are older than me because age usually comes with wisdom, right? Normally. And when you call me a tag along, it low key made me feel some type of way because it made me feel rejected. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Braylon, with whatever situation you might still be dealing with, I don't know you personally, ignorantly speaking, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. Of course, we all have our own levels of insecurity. For one, you ain't gotta prove yourself to no goddamn body, bitch. Girl, it's people within Ashton's group that are deeper friends than the individual that brought them into the group. So you gonna find your tribe, so don't worry about that. And then Ashton was like, look, bitch, look, girl, I, I, I ain't got time for this shit, bitch. Look, I already told your ass, I'm sorry. I apologize, girl. I didn't mean to be that way, girl. Even though in my spirit I was, girl, but you don't need to know that. But I didn't want to do that shit to you, bitch. I'm sorry. I apologize, girl. Let's move on. We can talk later. We ain't gonna talk now. We can talk later over crumpets and tea, bitch. We, let's do that, okay? Because you're a Disney, bitch. You like crumpets and tea, right? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, bitch. We'll do that, girl. Disney. <laughs> Braylon came through and said, look, bitch, I, I wasn't done with my shit. I just want to let it be known. Let me do a PSA right fucking now, girl. Here's the thing. You ain't got to fuck with Disney Channel, bitch, okay? You can fuck with Cartoon Network. You can fuck with Nickelodeon, bitch. For the hoes who didn't have fucking cable, bitch, you can fuck with PBS, bitch. Just because you don't see me, I still need to remind you, bitch, that, hello, my name is Braylon, and you are now watching Disney Channel, girl. So with that being said, bitch, you ain't got to like me. You ain't got to do any other things. But if there is one thing that your ass will do and not just you bitch every motherfucker in this goddamn room bitch what the fuck y'all hoes gonna do is you best to r-e-s-b-e -E, respect me r-e-s-b-e -E, respect me r-e-s-b-e -E, respect me in that fucking order so the conversation then shifts a little bit to dre and to kenny dre is calling kenny out like bitch hold on girl like ooh, the hypocrisy of our goddamn democracy bitch how you gonna sit here and try to check on bitches girl but you over here doing some shit and got some shit in the dark you goddamn self they was pulling a goddamn why did i get married shit just everybody's shit just coming out girl you best to r-e-s-b-e -E, respect me so shirai the peacekeeper the goddamn psychologist bitch the motherfucker who understands this type of shit bitch so he's been paying attention and not only that he's a people observer so he's sitting back and he's paying attention to everything and coming through with the truth so Sharad is speaking to Kenny and Sharad says look Kenny look as your friend because once again friends are supposed to tell your ass the truth as your friend you are a little bit <sighs> aggressive you are very straightforward you are very abrasive like there's a problem with that and as a friend i should be able to tell you what's going on that i see on the outside looking in to be able to help you become a better person and a real friend is going to be a friend that's going to tell your ass the truth that's worth risking the relationship because if you love somebody for real you're going to tell them the truth girl and if we don't be friends because your ass can't understand the truth that's going to be on you because at the end of the day the truth is the truth regardless of what you feel so Kenny was getting upset and I ain't gonna lie Kenny asked is smart because Kenny said bitch if I get upset guess what bitch everybody getting the fuck out and I know that's goddamn right bitch intelligent ego okay even though Kenny ass was trying to facilitate this shit but ended up having the spotlight on him which wasn't part of the plan he was still smart said bitch look you talk about me you can get the fuck up, up out, out of my shit bitch and even if I'm at your shit bitch I'm gonna leave but guess what I'm gonna be talking all my shit as I'm leaving so come to find out motherfucking Lemus Lemus, lemon's mouth, goddamn suction cup mouth having ass, bitch. It's out here sucking down the real hot boys of Houston, bitch. According to the shit that we hear in this goddamn episode, bitch. I know why the cage bird sings, bitch. Was trying to suck the goddamn glue off of goddamn August's head to hold that wig in the place, bitch. Which, shout out to that wig, bitch, because them waves were in bed. <laughs> One thing about August is this bitch. Even though this bitch pays for his hair, bitch, that nigga put some money into that shit because them waves looked crispy, okay, as hell. And the fat bitch inside of me confirmed that crispy. And y'all asses done sat here and got goddamn Disney Channel in the mix. See, my last episode, I did a Disney 18 plus bitch and y'all, and I was being funny. I didn't know that this nigga was low key trying to do something to goddamn Disney Channel Braylon ass bitch. Kind of made me feel some type of way. But according to all of y'all in the goddamn group, y'all know y'all y'all know about lemus lemus 
lemons goddamn i know why the cage bird sings okay in this high ass note because apparently this nigga has a whole goddamn piano built in his goddamn throat bitch that facilitates and hits all the keys and chakras of your dick bitch which makes me very fucking interested about that you know what i'm saying it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Stop so now we transition to a, another bright, beautiful, hot ass fucking day in goddamn Houston. And we have Sherrod, we have Kenny, we have August, and we also have Disney Channel herself, bitch, Braylon. Thank God for Sherrod walking around looking like the Black Messiah, bitch, just melanin and popping in the goddamn sun, bitch, okay? I appreciate August with this goddamn visor cap on to show off the fake ass waves, bitch, praise God. And baby, Kenny was sweating harder than the fifth section of Kim Burrell's titty, bitch. So they at the beach and shit like that, and they're having a conversation about Ashton and some of the other individuals who may be feeling what Ashton is feeling, girl. Just very cliquish. Like, even though they were talking about different cliques and stuff like that, it was like, but ain't y'all doing the same thing and uh they were having a pretty good discussion in reference to what being a friend is and i mean i have to agree with sharad sharad has said look bitch how can you be a friend to somebody else if you can't be a friend to yourself how can you look out for other people if you can't look out for yourself how are you going to be able to love somebody else if you can't love yourself so it starts with you first if you get yourself together internally and learn to maintain that balance you'll be able to connect with other people and help them to find that maintenance as well because at the end of the day, even though Ashton brought y'all around because y'all are really his core group of friends, y'all are still finding friends within being Ashton's core group of friends. And I mean, there are a lot of questions that need to be answered. I mean, there has been some shit that has transpired over this show to make a lot of people ask themselves, you know, bitch, are you really my friend? And not just the individuals in the show, but also the individuals like myself who are viewing it. Like, what is really a friend to you? What do you consider a friend? Leave it down below in the comment section. So then we move forward into the episode and we got dre ass pulling up okay to the goddamn studio to say look i'm ready to lay down these vocals them hoes don't know that i can really low-key sing he's going into the studio to lay down these tracks for the song drown me and he lets us know that the song was written about his boyfriend slash fiance and the song basically talks about loving somebody like so deeply but at the same time they're still on some bullshit on some fuck shit and it really makes you challenge whether you truly trust them or not now i'm not gonna lie i have an ear when it comes to music especially when it comes to singing so a lot of times when these reality stars say they singers i be getting a little nervous because we've had some very horrible horrible ass experiences of people who said they were singers and i mean they were singers but they were singers from the fifth section of hell bitch i mean some demonic shit that i don't want to fucking hear but i'm not gonna lie dre's song kind of like low-key hit like i low-key see that being a song like a makeup sex song you get what i'm saying like bitch i'm sorry like i, I know we was arguing we was you know have our own little situation but you know what i'll be back together now and bitch i've been thinking about you since we've been you know absent of each other bitch and you know an absent makes the heart grow fonder bitch well it really made my dick harder bitch so come here like i can see that song being a very much red light goddamn special ass type of song and girl we end the episode bitch with the shadiest part of the goddamn show bitch okay we got ashton and we got lemons bitch we got mother and we got goddamn daughter bitch because lemons is following behind the footsteps of sugar daddy ass ashton bitch okay ashton ass girl then lost all this goddamn weight bitch okay the bitch ain't gotta buy her clothes bitch custom made from the rv tart showroom anymore girl she can fit bitch into a goddamn large extra large girl now she gets to wear all of this american horror story hotel inspired ass shirts and clothes girl okay sugar daddy in the spirit bitch is having a conversation with lemons ass girl because lemons ass is over here sucking the dick faster than goddamn ashton can girl and ashton was telling lemons bitch Look, close your legs, close your mouth, whatever orifice you have close it because i'm sick and tired of you sitting here doing all this goddamn shit and then i just got a report girl that you can't even suck dick right bitch and you know in this family we suck dick up until it hiccup that embarrassed me so with that being said i'm gonna need you to stop until you get your shit together let me say bitch i am a free flower girl i smoke these goddamn flowers bitch okay roll up with flower petals bitch okay and i'm living my best life if i want to suck up everybody that you know in your whole goddamn life bitch i will do just that because i'm grown so is this throat bitch it's gr very grown grown and things are getting heated ass throwing shit lemons throwing that ass back bitch ash and throwing shit lemons throw that throat for a girl it's just a back and forth and back and forth of 
poetry girl in its finest, bitch. And then we reach the end of the fucking episode. I just gotta say, shout out to the real hot boys Houston, bitch, for coming back and learning from past experiences and making that shit better. This episode was balanced to me. I didn't feel as confused. I felt like I was involved in it. It had a level of shade. It had a level of truth and transparency. It had a level of sex. It was just a very well, well balanced episode. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody on the cast. Shout out to all of my YouTube brothers and sisters that are reviewing this goddamn show. Y'all go ahead and support them. Shout out to y'all for watching this crazy ass review from a crazy ass nigga by the name Above the Guy. So with that being said, y'all i want to say thank you so much for taking the time out to watch i greatly appreciate it please don't forget to hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell as well as that like button and share if you fucking feel like it and i will see y'all next week for another review of the real hot boys houston and with all that being said y'all peace and love bubs the guy signing out